So how was your interview at Cambridge? Uh, so the thing about Oxbridge interviews is it's a little different from the usual traditional MMI setup. Um, more often than not, you won't be face to face with an admissions tutor as much as you will be with, for example, a, a fellow or a professor or someone like that who's actually testing your knowledge. Um, so naturally, the interviews tend to be a bit more scientific, so, so fo focused on your A-level content, your GCSE content, and not only knowing individual modules, for example, you have to be able to draw links between all the different elements. So, by and large, they'll assess whether you have a base level of knowledge that you should know from your curricular studies, and then they'll try to extend those principles a bit further. So it'll be encroaching on the territory of what you'll be studying in your first and second years, and what they're trying to see is whether you can adapt to that new situation. Do they ask any questions on like work experience or volunteering, or is it purely academic? So normally the two interviewers, at least in my case I had two interviewers, in a set of two interviews at Cambridge in Oxford. It can differ, you can have more than two interviews if it, if it requires, if a college requires to interview you. Um, in that case, they may not get round to sort of personality-based questions or motivation-based questions. They'll have their script and if you don't get to the end of the problem-solving question, focusing on sort of the academic science, mm then they won't have time for it. If you are sort of, if you speed along, if you manage to get through what they ask, they'll have time to ask those sorts of questions, but that's not high on their priority list. At least that okay. was my experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I remember in my experience, I found it really helpful to think out loud and uh, let them know because, um, and expect to have challenging questions. Um, but at the same time, you, you know, you just use your base knowledge and uh, while you're using it, think out loud. So let them let them know what you're thinking. Um, that was quite useful. Yeah, so someone sitting in silence could be, you know, w working on solving the question or they could be thinking about porridge, you know, the, the academic that the uh, admissions teacher doesn't know. They're mm. just staring at a blank face. So if you speak out loud, mm. you're more likely to convey a sense that you're working on a problem, that you're you know, methodically going through it. Mm. And then, you know, because they know your thought process, they could give you some prompts to yeah. help you along. So that's something that comes in really useful. And how did you two like prepare for your Oxbridge interview? So with Cambridge they asked to fill in a supplementary form with some details about which modules you've actually covered from your subjects. So with chemistry and biology you have to list the different modules and that's the basis from which they can draw you know, the scientific questions. They wouldn't ask you know, something you don't cover in AT or something a specific specification doesn't cover. So don't worry too much about learning anything beyond what you should know. Mm -hmm. I think if you don't understand your own AS principles, then you're in trouble. If you, you know, if you've done lots of wider reading, that's great. It might come in handy in you know, some discussion, but it might not come in handy. It might you know, mm -hmm. lead you down for so. So a helpful thing is to get a biology teacher and get them to do a similar principle. I mean, mm -hmm. they should have a degree in biology. They should be able to push you a bit further than they would do in class, and. A lot of the times with medical interviews, you know, you might not find anyone who has a relevant experience to help. But in this case, a biology teacher will always be able to sort of do a sort of mock Oxford interview. And so is it always two interviews that you have? At Cambridge, in my experience, you have two interviews on the same day. At Oxford, you tend to have interviews spanning multiple days. Right. So you'll have to stay over at Oxford and you okay. have to go at different colleges. And different colleges may ask for one interview, they may ask, may, may ask for two. So. Okay.